Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I already turned this bin up a little bit because I had a screaming fit when I found a beetle in here. And not like one of my little beetles, like a large black beetle. And I needed to investigate further before I calmed down. It is not a roach, but it was a large beetle. Pretty, it was a pretty dramatic screaming fest from me. But, like I said, just a beetle, and it is coming upon spring, so I should expect as much more bugs come around this time of year. I was about ready to call an exterminator. I was panicking. However, we all know it's an ecosystem. I say it a million times, but easier said than done sometimes. In, in my case, I panic a bit. So, I'm not seeing a whole lot of the food we put in here last week. Um, looks like they're getting through it with that banana and all. Um, but, here's one of those lemon rinds, and it's actually really soft. I think this will break down, okay. The moisture level is actually really good. It's maybe borderline dry, but once we add the feeding this week, it will not be an issue at all. So, just thought I'd dig around a little bit more and pray I don't run into that beetle again. I mean, really, they're going through way more food than I anticipated. I knew there was a good number of worms in here, but um, I just think at the rate that they're multiplying and all the space that they have, they're just flying through this stuff a lot quicker than before. Some mites. Sorry, I'm bending over, working in this bin, shaking a little bit. Or maybe that's residual panic from the beetle sighting. But yeah, I think um, there's plenty of bedding in here. The moisture overall feels pretty good. So I don't think I'm gonna add any moisture today uh, along with my feeding. I'm just going to feed um, partially frozen food like I did last time and I'm going to set it um, on top of this cardboard similar to what I did last time as well. Um, and then I am, I think, going to try to cover all of the feeding with a thicker layer of cardboard to try to deter any further um, beetle reproduction in here for the sake of my uh, anxiety. So let me grab some food and I'll be right back with you. Here's a nice worm ball. I'm trying to get in the light here. I'm trying to see what this apple core, gosh, they love apple cores. That's what that was. All right, let's feed these guys up. Okay guys, so I dug a trench and I really pressed down these two pieces of cardboard into the middle. Um, I wanna make sure we cover these scraps a little bit better than we were before. I also just spotted a few fruit flies and I think um, not covering my food is a big part of my problem. I'm not always nearly as diligent about it as I should be. So, this looks like it's got like some end of a cucumber which I know worms really like. Still a lot of citrus in here, some apple cores. Um, it'll be a good little combo for them. I see some banana peels, that type of thing. So this will be a nice, good feeding for them. And <clears throat> I did already sprinkle a little bit of eggshell in here, but I'll sprinkle a little bit more, especially because of the citrus. You always wanna be careful um, to manage the pH of your bin because that can also invite um, mites and things like that. 
and I'm just going to loosely cover this. I definitely don't want my worms to like freeze on it. I want them to be able to get off of it if it's too cold for them. And I'm just going to cover this up real good. And I'm going to use some of these rags that I had to really create a nice good cover on the top here. Try to cover as much of the surface as I can. And then I might just do a, a light covering around the edges with um, some shredded newspaper I have. So that's a pretty adequate cover. Um, but I am going to sprinkle some shredded cardboard around the edge. And then I want to answer a quick question that I got on my post last week. Okay, so I'm not taking any chances. I put a nice layer of um, cardboard, um, I'm sorry, shredded paper over the top here. Hopefully that will keep the fruit flies out and deter any other pests from making their way in because I don't think my heart can handle another beetle. So um, I got a question from Catherine at my hillside garden asking about the height of this bin um, and she wanted to have kind of a reference and Catherine, I hope you love me for this because I'm sweating bullets after that beetle, but I'm gonna show you myself next to this bin. First of all, I will show you, it's right at the height of our um, windowsill here. So, you know, for a standard windowsill, that's where it's at. And let me quickly show you what I look like next to the bin. Okay, so here's my window window sill all the way down here and this bin is a little shy of coming up to my my hip and I'm five foot seven so it's a pretty sorry pretty decent height bin but um it's definitely not hard to work in if you see here I mean I can lean in and reach here and that's why sometimes I think I shake and have trouble just because holding the camera and leaning into this bin can be a little bit of a struggle but um that's mainly because of holding the camera, not because um, the bin is really deep or really high and I'm having to reach in and over. So that is pretty much my update for today, but I did want to give you guys a little bit more perspective on the depth of this bin. If you can see there's a few fruit flies around here, so there were definitely, um, there was definitely not enough covering over this feeding. So I'm going to zip this up real good, hopefully the flies will decide to move on. So please like this video, subscribe if you want some more content from me, and I will be back with you guys soon. Have a great night. I hadn't really worked into the food a whole lot yet, and I'm one, I was wondering if that was because I had put it on top of the cardboard, so I flipped. Oh my goodness, that is a big beetle. That is not 